uh, this is where we do, this is one of our kitchens. We actually have two kitchens. This is our main kitchen. And then we have a small kitchen over there. And our small kitchen is where we actually cook with a couple burners over there. But we keep the refrigeration here, coffee, toast, and uh, microwave. I'm hoping someone out there has a refrigerator they no longer want that has a freezer, either bottom or top. We don't care, period. Ours is breaking down in a bad way. In fact, uh, this morning I did a post, the refrigeration, the white one's breaking down, and I've already got a refrigerator. It's like, thank you, thank you, thank you, citizens of Martina. And this is where we keep a list of the chores and who's doing night guard, okay? We keep all information there. And we also have job op uh, opportunities posted here. And we have all the emergency numbers they could ever want. And all the free buses are listed here. Over here, in between the two kitchens, is where we wash our dishes. And recently, the boys club gave us this uh, stainless steel sink that they had outside they no longer need. And we, before the stainless steel sink, we used the white little buckets uh, to do one for soapy water, one for sanitation water, and one for clear rinse. And then everything gets, everything gets air dry here, and uh, that's the most sanitary to let air dry. Early on, when I was getting my act together with all of, you know, just getting my act together with homelessness, I um, formed, you know, I got all, well, probably about 10 to 12 churches together. We meet every other month to talk about things that I'm doing and how they can become more involved, and they become slightly more involved over a period of time. So um, recently, I took them all on tours here three different weeks in a row, so I got most of the churches in here, so they got to be really excited to see what they're actually supporting. It starts off with me forming Homeless Action Coalition. It's a nonprofit, 501c3. Uh, the dream that I want to work on next is finding property for us to move to. I want to purchase about an acre of property is what a gentleman at City Hall told me I would probably need, which would include a little bit for parking. Um, and that's what I want to do. I want to move somewhere where, you know, I'm, I consider myself safer. No one can just arbitrarily throw me out. Uh, Barbara Lucero, she's my right-hand man. Then we have Debbie Zamaria, and she is, I, I call my social worker. She does all of the connecting of people to CORE, to Social Security, food stamps, um, uh, Social Security cards. I mean, just on and on and on the stuff she does. She was very instrumental in getting a couple of my people surgeries. Okay, one guy was blind for two years and Debbie was able to make that happen, okay, wow. just by being tenacious. Okay. And the newest addition to our team is uh, Nancy Morgan. And um, she became interested in my coalition because she's a nonprofit worker. Her nonprofit went and kind of went just a little bit on hiatus because of COVID and she needed things to do. And she discovered <laughs> me and started, you know, coming down to the showers and uh, wanting to get involved. And oh, Hello, my name is Taylor King. I'm a fire inspector with the Contra Costa County Fire Department. We were brought on to the Martinez Homeless Encampment at the amphitheater by a request from Station 14 from a medical call that brought it to our attention. After that, I've been working closely with Norley, her team, and the residents doing fire evacuation drills where they ring their fire bell, which notifies everyone in the encampment, as well as the immediate activation of the 911 system followed by evacuating to their predetermined area of refuge approximately 250 to 300 feet away. We've been working with Norley and Martina's Amphitheater and came in for some time addressing not just code enforcement issues, but general safety practices and preparedness uh, on the part of both the operators of the encampment and the occupants. Working with Norley and the city of Martina's on this location, we have developed safe cooking practices, we've developed safer shelters. The facility itself is fully accessible for emergency equipment and crews, and we were able to respond and address all nature of emergency calls for service in this location. We look forward to continuing to work with the city as we make these types of safer homeless encampments a model for other parts of our jurisdiction, which not only includes Martinez, but 10 other cities and then unincorporated areas of Contra Costa County. So the scope of the resource officer is anything community oriented policing uh, with a focus on homelessness. Um, so being in this position, my job is to help people who are homeless. 
So my job is to get them the, the assistance they need to get them onto that next level, to get them basically off the street. That is my main objective. Uh, prior to me, uh, Sergeant Brinzer, when he was the community resource officer, he actually set up that entire program. Um, so he coordinated with the church, he coordinated with Nora Lee, with Loaves and Fishes, all these services, the county hospital, John Muir. He coordinated with all these, all these folks, all these volunteers to make this program happen. Uh, which has, since the initiation of, I believe now it's been close to about a year and a half or so, has been going on every single Friday since. Um, the first thing we had to do was find the right police officers uh, that were empathetic and caring uh, to carry this mission forward. When a police officer shows up somewhere, generally people equate it to something punitive. And it's really hard to, to build a relationship if you're homeless with, with someone in power and authority because you know, I, I think a lot of our folks that are homeless have, uh, have suffered and they've been let down by the government in, in a variety of different ways. And so they're not very trusting. And the longer you're homeless, the harder it is to connect with people. So we only have, as of right now, I believe about 30 people. And of those people, how many are local residents, longtime local residents? All of them. Home? All, of, all them. of them. They're all supposed to be have an affiliation to the city of Martinez um, and be a part of the city. So a lot of times we get a lot of people from other cities or out of county um, who are either homeless or have mental illness, but this is specifically for, we, we try to keep it as, as much as we can, just str strictly for uh, the homeless community from Martinez. Say I could speak on behalf of this. It, it is the cleanest homeless encampment you'd ever see. It's ran in tip top shape and there's rules. If people in here cannot abide by those rules, they, they don't get to be in here. It's a privilege. Um, but I, I can say that inside here is clean. And I, I, can, I can say that around it is clean as her team, Norley's team, uh, continuously picks up any trash and garbage around the encampment. So that's what I can attest to. Rocco um, has been on board for, I think, less than six months, if I'm not mistaken, maybe a little bit longer. But his job is um, to work the homeless population in all of Martinez. Uh, but he gives me a lot of support down here. Um, I worked really hard on Measure X. That was a half cent sales tax measure for the city of Martinez. I actually managed it. And that once we got that passed, that he could go ahead and leave a dedicated person to homelessness. He'd only have to pull them every so often when things got really rough. So every Friday here in the city of Martinez at NorCal Courts, uh, we have the Fresh Start Program showers. Um, that's facilitated with the, the Bay Church, who they bring out a whole trailer. Uh, we have Norley and her team. They're, they're doing a clothing exchange. Um, Loaves and fishes, they pass out burritos and coffee. And we also have the county hospital and John Muir Hospital. They, they offer uh, medical services every single Friday. Arash is the uh, CEO of his family's foundation in honor of his father. They buy things to distribute in the community. He's a wonderful young man. You would just That's love him. Uh, this is the container that we keep all of our clothing, toiletries, um, supplies uh, for the showers that we go back and forth with. We provide all of the clothing exchange and plus our campers. We provide clothing and shoes and jackets and underwears and everything you can possibly imagine. Personally, when I first started my 501c3 and took over this whole operation, um, I had to buy most of the stuff from our organization's money. But in the meantime, the last, oh my goodness, five months, it just keeps growing and growing. We just have such incredibly generous people who live in our community. It's just amazing. I mean, look at all this. It's just amazing. Uh, jobs. Dang it, man. Mac has a job. He got a job today with people ready. And we have people ready number on our little, we have it on our, you know, in our kitchen on the wall. I'm going to bug every healthy living boy and girl, Mike, look at me, baby, about getting a job. Yeah. Every person would be bugging to get a job. Who wants to go to the laundry today? Oh. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna have to take two groups. Okay? But you got your own. So just just three then. Three in my car and you two. That's it. Perfect. Got it going. So Nick, Nico, Leslie, Mary. Oh, I have to take two loads. Steve. Do you have, uh, do you have room for Steve by chance? I can make room. Can you? Yeah. So I'm, gonna, I'm gonna take Nico, Mary, Leslie. If you can take him, that's, I'll be, that'll be six of us. Okay. Anybody else going? You wanna go to? No, I'm gonna get on this for Friday. Friday. Oh yeah, put your oh, name on the calendar. Okay, I'll do that. Okay. Oh, how when though? So, Brian? Uh, so we get our shit together. Large to put their laundry in? I call it champion the cause in Martinez because no one was talking about it, you know, helping homeless before the chief came along. People all had bad attitudes about it. 
And she, you know, when I was peppering him with millions of questions, he saw that and he helped me move on with what my plans are and my goals were with homeless population. And also Chief put Rodney and me together. Uh, Rodney and I as a team were pretty unstoppable and we got a lot of things accomplished uh, with the Chief's support and then all these other people coming on board. But it all started with the Chief. That's where it starts, okay? The man who got us going. You Thank know. you, Chief. Seriously. I'm pleased. And I'm proud. And look at it today. Look, look, look at it today. We did it. We appreciate it, really. I mean, we free and did it. talk about you, I talk back at him now. Well, let's put it this way. I have a hell of a team. There's no doubt about that. Thank you, everybody. And, um, yeah, thanks. This program is working. It is working. We have been able to get 15 people in the next stages of their lives, and that, I think that's a huge accomplishment. Awesome, it's thank a you. French vanilla cake. Oh, sweet. So, so, yeah. so what's the event? <laughs> got engaged. Yeah, I got engaged. I got engaged. <laughs> do I, I don't have, do I have to pay attention to you or anything? I'm just going to do I what I have to do? Nope. Okay. I, I always You're got, not in the Screen Actors Guild. I have no, no I, lines for you. Right. I'm, <laughs> I, 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 I got to do what I got to do. All that. <laughs>